Welcome to my realm of shadows. You stand before me with a desire burning inside your heart, seeking a way to make your wish true. Fear not, as I am the one that can grant you your desires, but you must know that everything has a price. In exchange for me granting your desires, you'll have to swear loyalty to me and serve me for a span of years walking the path of shadows with me as your guide. Is your desire strong enough to give up your freedom? Here's a hint demon scum. Power warrior mode. I morph to my warrior form and slash your left eye with my claw leaving a scar. You then say in anger well well. We meet at last shadow warrior. The time for me to show you the true power of the shadows has come. Queen Deidre narrows her eyes in fury as she touches the wound on her face, feeling the blood flowing down. You dare to harm me? You think that you can defeat me with brute force alone? I am not a mere mortal, I am Queen Deidre, ruler of the realm of shadows. She draws her sword and points it towards you. If you wish to challenge me, then so be it. But don't forget that alliances have been formed with those who possess power beyond our wildest dreams. Are you ready to face them as well? I draw my sword. Bring it on. But I must warn you. I have the true power of the shadows. The way it was meant to be. For the side of good not evil. Queen Deidre chuckles as she readies herself for battle. The true power of the shadows. You are merely immortal. What could you possibly know about such things? But very well, I accept your challenge. We shall see what you are truly capable of. She takes a fighting stance and lunges at you with her sword. But was all for naught as I slash my sword at her destroying her sword and opening the wound even more. I am far more than a mere mortal pig. Queen Deidre grimaces in pain as she clutches her wound. You, you have defeated me. But this is not the end. I will rise again, stronger than ever before. And when I do, we shall meet once more in battle. Until then, know that I will never stop seeking the power that I crave. She disappears into thin air, leaving behind a trail of shadow magic. By using my dog-like sense of smell I follow the trail of shadow magic to your fortress of evil. But. Before I can enter the fort as my shadow senses start going wild as they show me a vision the fortress's secret. Oh no. Then the ground begins to shake as it transforms into a giant version of you. You then let out a thunderous roar as you started beating on your breasts. Queen Deidre appears before you, her eyes gleaming with malice. You have discovered my fortress, and now you stand before me, ready to challenge me once more. But know this. Shadow Warrior, I am not one to be easily defeated. My power is beyond your comprehension, and I will stop at nothing to achieve my goals. If you wish to stand in my way, then so be it. But remember, you are not the only one with allies. She raises her hand, summoning a group of shadow creatures to attack you. The time for battle has come once more. Are you prepared to face the wrath of Queen Deidre? A shower laser bolts begin raining down from the sky killing the all shadow creatures sent to attack me. I look to the sky to see where the blasts came from to find a massive flying ship. The power warrior ultrazard carrier mode. You then laugh heavily as you think that while in your giant form your powers could easily destroy the zord. I then jump inside it and join up with my team. Queen Deidre looks up in shock as the massive ship descends from the sky. What kind of trickery is this? The Shadow Warrior possesses such advanced technology. I must admit, I did not expect this. But it shall make no difference in the end. You may have allies now, but they are nothing compared to my power. She raises her arms and unleashes a beam of dark energy towards the Zord. I then pull out the Life Notebook. Life Notebook Energize Spell. This results in a giant winged robotic fire-breathing red dragon to appear from the shadows and stop the beam with its powerful armor. Shadow dragon alright? Alright guys it's time to show this she demon what the ultimate power carrier can do with my battleizer megazord. Shadow dragon combine. 
The dragon unites with the Zord giving it more power than ever as it becomes a mighty giant dragon-like cannon. Power Warrior Ultrazard Carrier Mode Blitz Formation Queen Deidre watches in amazement as the Zord transforms into a massive dragon-like cannon. Impressive, but it shall make no difference. She raises her hands, summoning an army of shadow creatures to attack your Zord. You may have powerful weapons at your disposal, but my power is beyond measure. Shadow minions, destroy them all. We'll see about that pig. Dragon Cannon The cannon powers up and as me and my team shout power blasted fires as blast of powerful holy energy with kills all the shadow creatures and obliterates you with them as you face oblivion and die. Sending you to the super underworld for all eternity. Queen Deidre stares down at the wreckage of her minions and the Zord in horror. My power is unmatched. How did you defeat me? The time for alliances has come to an end. I will seek out others who are stronger than myself, and together we shall build a new world. Asterisk she vanishes into thin air as she leaves behind only a trail of shadow magic. The shadow magic burns out as you then head to the afterlife to face the fires of the super underworld as you die by the Zord's power. Power Victory Queen Deidre screams in horror as she dies with her army and her fortress now and forever. The ship then returns to its resting place and transforms back into its true form as the headquarters of the Power Rangers Power Warriors. The Rangers the return home by their teleportation. I then celebrate the victory I had with my team by having a drink of soda while watch my favorite movies on TV. But I knew in my heart that my war with Satan is still far from over. But I knew in my soul as long as I'm alive I will not give up the fight until he is dead and I have justice for my mother and father by killing him forever. The end. And the moral of this story is... And sometimes, nay, and the true nature here of the shadows is not to be used for evil, but for the side of good. And the end.